What's going on guys? This is Jamie from Heroic Barbell with a new episode of Jamie's Kitchen. Now guys, today's episode we're going to be making delicious chocolate chip cookies. Why? Because we're all stuck at home. For Sorry about the hair in the face. I don't go outside that much anymore. Didn't feel like cutting my hair. Didn't feel like shaving. Just deal with it. We're all in this together. And cookies may, are something that make me feel good when I eat them. So I figured why not share this delicious family recipe with you, my viewers at home. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this GoPro on. We can see this is, we're cooking live here, but I prepared a couple things from the magic of movies or whatever. So in this little, um, bowl here we have dark brown sugar, 200 grams of dark brown sugar, and 112 grams of white sugar. Now guys, don't use the light brown sugar. You got, you got to make sure that it's the dark brown. Now what we're doing right now is just mixing, mixing it together a little bit. Just kind of incorporate the dark and the brown, you know. Make it one, all right? Make it one. That way when we add the wet ingredients, it should come together a little bit, a little bit quicker. So just, you know, the, the brown sugar that's sticking together, just kind of smush that out and mix it with the white sugar. Uh -huh, just like this, like that. What have you guys been doing during this quarantine, you know? I've just been baking, playing, uh, I started playing a new video game called Mass Effect. It's Mass Effect. I played 1, 2, and 3 on the PlayStation 4, but um, the new one, no, on the PlayStation 3. 1, 2, and 3 on the PlayStation 3, and I just started playing Mass Effect 4 Andromeda on the PlayStation 4. And, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, this game's, like, terrible. Everyone's butthurt these days. Get over it. Don't play it if you don't, if you don't want to play it. And you should have read the reviews before you bought it, you know, you bunch of dummies. Anyways, so this sugar looks like it's just about incorporated. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 112 gr uh, grams of melted, unsalted butter. Just like that. Okay. Right, we're just going to mix that up. Mix it up. So, it's not that difficult, guys. And you know what? Making these cookies is, is a little bit of a workout. You're mixing, right? Kind of get a, a forearm pump. Right? I was thinking, you know, of what I could talk to you guys about, um, you know, while we're mixing. Because while we're mixing, it's that's the time when we can start thinking about stuff, you know? So I was thinking, like, what music do you guys listen to when you're working out, you know? I know some guys back in New York, they listen to EDM. I will, I was always been, like, a heavy metal guy. I've only met one or two other guys at uh, the gym who really enjoy the, the heavy metal. Um, I always thought powerlifting and heavy metal kind of went hand in hand, you know? Maybe not. That was just my thing. So maybe I'll do an episode about music one day. All right, so now it's all incorporated. You see how it's all nice? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a whisk, and we're going to add in one egg, okay? One egg and one egg yolk. But I like to add in one at a time now. So what I like to do is I like to crack the old egg right in there like that. Get rid of that shell. Take our whisk and just... Whisk this, this little area together, okay? And then, once that's all good, you absorb a little bit more. All right? Until 
yellow with it. Alright, so now that I'm happy with that, we're going to add in the yolk. Put the yolk right in here in this little guy. Alright. Now the one egg yolk. And the one egg is now incorporated nicely. And now the recipe, my home recipe calls for vanilla extract, but I don't have that. So what I did was I take about six grams. How many grams? About six. Of vanilla, I, I take about six grams of vanilla ice cream. All right. Pop that in the microwave. And we add that. Just a little bit more until our There we go. Now that our, whoa, now that our vanilla ice cream, just a little bit is melted, we can add that in right here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now that's all well and incorporated. Now this is done. The wet stuff is done. So we can set the wet stuff right over here on top of the chocolate. Now we need to work on some of the dry. So let's get our scale. Now for our dry ingredients, we're going to need 100, 200 grams of flour. How many grams? 200. Hey now. And I said, let there be light. This is just regular, all-purpose, 200 grams. Almost. All right, we're there. 200 grams of flour. And we're going to get 4 grams of baking soda. grams of baking soda and I think we need some salt as well three grams of salt how many grams three one two 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 three all right. Um, I, don't have my, I don't have another whisk, so I have to use a fork. Just mix. Make sure this is all mixed together. Right. This needs to all be mixed together. It's just the flour, the salt, and the baking soda. Making sure it's kind of mixed well. I would use a whisk, but I'm not going to lie, this is the second time I shot this video. I put 200 grams of butter in the first one, when it, that's like double what the butter was supposed to be. So the, that was, a, that was a, a, a mistake. I flubbed it. It was a goof and a spoof. Alright, so that's all mixed together nicely. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to take our wet ingredients here. Rid of this, the whisk is done for now. And we can just pour all of this in. Just like that. Okay, I just made a mess there, that's okay. And then we just mix. Mix it together. Now some people say like, oh don't mix too much unless you want like, like tough cookies. Just mix it until it's you know all the flour is gone. Shouldn't take that long. This is a much easier um,
baking recipe than bread is. It's just a little bit more complicated. There's a bit more ingredients, but slowly coming together. Now guys, all of these, you don't need an oven. Well, you need an oven. You need an air fryer. So if you have an air fryer, you're good. Uh, if you have an oven, even better, but um, if you've got an air fryer, you can make these cookies at home. So. I hope everyone's staying safe out there. But you know, I see a lot of people out uh, when I go shopping or at an e-mart. It's a lot of people. And a lot of people on Instagram, they be partying. Not, it's not what I would do in this situation. Stay home, bake. If you gotta go to Emart, you gotta go to Emart. If you gotta go to the Mart, you gotta go to the Mart. I mean, nothing you can do, right? Okay, now, this is just about done here. The, the, this dough, and you guys are saying, hey, Jamie, what gives? You, you said chocolate chip cookies. I got them. Now, I don't like chocolate chips, actually. I actually like uh, chocolate bars. I just I like chocolate bars. There's a little bit of butter on this knife. Don't worry, it's just butter. Um, I don't like the size of the chips. To me, the chips don't melt nicely. Uh, they're it's a little sloppy. So what I like to do is I like to take a couple of chocolate bars. Put in here. Now I think this is just milk chocolate. If it was my, if I had other chocolate with me, I would use a little bit something a little darker. So this is milk. So these are sweet cookies, guys. These aren't, uh, you know, these aren't like normal cookies. They're they're pretty sweet. You saw how much sugar went into them. So milk chocolate only makes them sweeter, you know. So I just give them a rough chop, um, you know. So every piece is a little different, you know. Now. My mom brought me this a long time ago. Strong dark chocolate. So it's like 70%. So I don't want these to be as big chunks. So I'm actually gonna like try to sh shred these a little bit nicer. Hey okay, now, this is live. You know, what are you gonna do when you're live? So I'm gonna use, I'll use a good part of this bar too, but you see how the pieces are way finer here than I did, I'm doing with the other ones? Because uh, it's more bitter, right? So I, I just want the essence of the bitterness. I don't want the actual, like, I don't want it to be like, well, that's so bitter, you know? So I'm just going to just... I got these knives. I bought my air purifier from Electromar, and they're like, well, again, we're going to give you a free present. And I'm like, what's that? And they're like, a knife set. It's not even like a steak knife set. It's just like these just shitty dull knives knife set. I kept trying to give them just give me give me the cost of the of the knives. I'd be happy with fifty dollars. Alright. So now now we just add our cut chocolate into here like this. It would be funny if my mom was like saving that chocolate for something right and I'm just using all of it. Mom, sorry if I'll, I'll buy you a, a new one when this craziness is over. All right, and then... Hey now, the battery, the battery died on me right when I was about to start mixing the chocolate. So, just have to mix this in. Now, unfortunately, guys, we can't just bake these right away. We have to wait about 30 minutes. We have to plop this guy in the fridge. Um, so just once it's all, you know, mixed nicely and incorporated, there should be a nice amount of uh, chips in here. It shouldn't be, uh, don't be stingy with the chocolate. I think last time I put even more chips in, to be honest. So just make sure it's nicely, uh, everything's nice and mixed together. And you guys can store this ho however you want. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I have these glass Tupperwares. Um, now it's not all gonna fit into uh, to one, but just take it and can plop it in, smooth it out. The only issue I find with these glass tupper, Tupperwares is when you go to 
scoop, you know, some dough out to make some cookies, it's a little bit difficult. more in here. Last one and then we're going to move to a smaller Tupperware. Okay. And here we have a smaller one. This will be like just one big cookie at the end, you know. Nice big cookie. And that's that. So guys, I'm going to put these in the fridge, let them chill for about 30 minutes and I'll be back. Be back then. Alright guys, it's been about, it's been like an hour. I was editing the video that I had, but now it's time to let's bake some of these cookies. Now, let me show you the um, air fryer I have. This is the, this is the model air fryer I have. It's this guy right here, the uh, Electromart one. And all the recipes that I get, um, just, all the recipes that I get, um, this is, it gets too hot in there, so I've lowered it a lot. So I've done a lot of testing on this one. So if you have this protect, particular model, um, we're going to bake these cookies at around uh, 155 degrees Celsius um, for about 8 to 10 minutes. So get out your little uh, pan here. I give it a little wipe. I baked some bread on this earlier, so there's a little bit of olive oil. But you can just wipe that away. Okay, so once... That's clean, let's go, I'll show you guys how to load up these cookies. Egg. Um, you can use your hands, but then I just feel like it gets a little bit sticky to your hands. So I'll just take any bag here. This is just a regular Ziploc bag, and you see I just ripped it like that. So now I'll actually just use this bag, and I'll scoop, scoop the cookie dough out. It looks like a poop, I know. But this was actually too big for one cookie, so I broke it in half. There's two pieces here. Now, you're just going to make a ball. See? I know I just said I don't touch it with my hand. And then, put one here. I'll make, just make two for now. Just two. One ball there. I'm going to grab the other cookie. Cookie dough here, I want to waste anything, right? Make a ball. I don't like using this a spoon, I have to I have to clean the spoon. And there, the two poops. Poop one, poop two. Now, I said in the oven, um, 155 degrees Celsius. See you guys in 10 minutes. Oh, now they're done, finally. Yeah, I put them too close together, but look. Look at those. Look at those. Now, we can't eat them right away because um, they're too hot. So, um, so, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay. All right, it's time for the taste test. Let's see how it is. They might still be a little bit warm. Um, so let's see. Okay, so here's the cookie. I think it came out real, real nice. Here's the bottom, it's not underdone. So here we go, guys. Oh, that's a good cookie. You can, can you see it? It's crunchy. That's my mom. It's crunchy. It's chewy. Mmm. It's sweet. Very good. Try it at home. Well, no harm. No quarantine. Salute.